this video, I will be showing you how to create your own portfolio website for free. The platform that I recommend you use is Wix. And the reason why I recommend Wix is because it is beginner friendly, completely free to use, and you can also get access to numerous features on their free plan. For example, once you go onto Wix.com, you can sign up using your email address. You do not need a credit card or anything like that to get started. After you have done that, you are going to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After selecting Create on Wix Editor, you will be redirected to this page and I want you to tap on Set Up Without AI. After doing that, from here you can tap on the search bar and you can type in whatever type of website you would like to create. Since we are creating a portfolio website, I'm going to select portfolio and from here you can see different sub niches that you can go into. For example, do you want to create an artist portfolio, a writing portfolio, an R&B portfolio, a video portfolio, any one of these options you can select as you can see right there. Once you have found one to your liking, you'll tap on continue. After tapping on continue, you can see that my dashboard is being prepared. Once the dashboard has been prepared, you'll be able to give your website a name. So you can tap right here and you can give your website a name. After you have done that, you're going to tap on continue in the bottom right hand corner. Then these are some plugins or some apps that you can add to your website. For example, you can see the portfolio plugin has automatically been added. And you can also add your Instagram feed. If you like to do blogging, you could select blog. If it's a case that you want to upload and probably sell videos, you could do that. And you can also scroll down and see the other apps that you can add onto your website. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. Then from here, you can tap on go to dashboard. After tapping on go to dashboard, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. So this is how your dashboard looks. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is upload your portfolio. So you're going to select portfolio from the left hand menu option. Then you're going to select projects. After selecting projects, you can see some sample projects that were added. To remove these, you can tap on the box right here. Then from there, you could tap on delete selected. After doing that, you can tap on add project and from here you'll be able to add your project name, description and you can also add some basic information. For example, you can name the project type, the date and location. Then you can tap on next and from here you can upload your different projects from your device as you can see right here. After you have uploaded them, they will be added right here. And you can also put them in collections if you want. So you could tap on collections and from here you could tap on the plus here or you could tap on new collection in the top right hand corner and you will be able to create your first collection. And when it comes on to uploading blog posts, all you will need to do is select blog from the left hand menu option. Then you will tap on create posts and from here you can create your first blog post. All you'll need to do is add the title, then tap right here and you can start typing. You can also tap on the plus and you can see the different elements that you get access to using Wix. For example, you can quickly add images. You can also use the Wix AI image generator, which is a new feature. And you can also add gallery, video, GIF. You can also import files. You can see that there are numerous things that you can quickly do with Wix. Once you're finished doing that, you'll simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Now, if we were to go back, if it is a case that in the future you would like to do any form of selling on your platform, all you will need to do is tap on getting paid in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you'll tap on connect and set up. After doing that, you can tap on connect payment method and depending on the country you're located in, you'll see different payment options that you can connect. Although I should warn you that with Wix, to start collecting payment on your Wix website, you will need to go onto one of their paid plans. But their paid plan starts off from $12 upwards. 
so it is very reasonable and also you can see different options on how you can get paid for example you can choose to use their pos feature you can also request payments right here by sending an invoice or payment link you can also send quotations or proposals as you can see right there once you're finished you're going to tap on set up from the left hand menu option and I want you to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. After selecting design site, you're going to tap on pick a template. Once you have tapped on pick a template, you'll be redirected to this page. And this is one of the standout features when it comes onto Wix website builder. As with it, you'll be provided with numerous themes as you can see right here. So you can scroll down until you see a theme of your liking and you can select the theme that you like by tapping on edit. After doing that, you will be redirected to the Wix editor page. And from here, you'll be able to customize how your website looks. So it is quite easy and beginner friendly to do. So at the moment, this is how our website looks right here. The first thing I want you to do is you can choose to either close the pop up box or you can type in some information and you could use the Wix AI feature to type out content for your website. But I'm going to be closing the pop-out box. Then you're going to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. And this is how our website looks at the moment. To start editing it, all you need to do is tap on the section that you'd like to edit. So if you'd like to change right here, you can simply tap there and from there you could type in something else if you want so for example i could tap on edit text and from there i could type in something else as you can see right there it is as easy as that to edit the header section and all sections you can tap on the header section tap on change header design and you can choose to change the background color or so on you can also tap here if you would like to change the background image then tap on quick edit and from the right hand menu option you'll be able to change the background image you can scroll down and you'll be able to edit each section it is that easy to do and by the way if you see a section that doesn't have what you want for example let's say we would like to add an extra text box right here all you will need to do is tap on plus from the top left hand corner then from there you can drag and add any one of these elements so if it is a case that you'd like to add a text box you can simply drag and drop the text box right here as you can see you can also tap on add elements and from there you can add images buttons music anything at all that you want to add to your website you will find it in this section right here all you have to do is simply tap and drag and place it where you want and also to view all the pages that are on your website let me delete this real quick you're going to tap on home in the top left hand corner and you can see all the pages right here so if we wanted to go on the portfolio page I could select portfolio and you can see how the portfolio page looks now to preview it you can tap on preview in the top right hand corner and you can see how it looks so once someone comes onto our website, they'll tap on the portfolio right there of their liking. They'll be redirected to this page. They'll see the portfolio title, portfolio type and date and a little description right there. Then they'll see our portfolio right here. So you can see how it looks right there. Now to publish it, you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner and you'll be provided with a free URL. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.